Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new series uh, from a game that is probably a year old by now. Uh, this game is called 60 Seconds. You're in a survival nuclear fallout situation. Um, we're going to get right into it. Choose Apocalypse. Uh, full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post apocalyptic in your fallout shelter. Post apocalypse in your fallout shelter. So, what this game is, is you get 60 seconds to gather stuff from your house, including your family, throw them in a bunker, and get down in the bunker yourself. And then that's where the game really starts. So we need to find, that's the bunker, there's a suitcase, there's a kid, water and soup, uh, is it a med kit, what is that, nope. Um... Well, since we're here... Grab the gun, drop it off on the way through. Oh, that's the wife. Gotta get the kids. Gotta get the wife. Come on, wife, let's go. You know, really, you should have been headed to the bunker anyway, but... Playing that stupid thing while there's a nuclear bomb about to hit us. Gotta get water and food. Gotta get the first aid. Don't know if we're gonna make it. Gonna be close. Anything else right here I can get? Bullets. I grabbed bullets. I didn't even think about bullets. But I grabbed him just in time. All right. Let's see what the first day holds for us. Everybody seems to be losing their mind already. We have very limited water. We have an axe. We have a padlock. As all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast, that was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember hearing canned soup? I remember, we remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing the supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it up anyway. Better anyway. We got one ax, so that's a plus. We got an ax. Well, looky here. One of us must have the... One of us must have hid it inside the suitcase a while ago. So lucky that we took that suitcase. One lock. One padlock. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. People, it's way too early in the game to be talking to cans. Nobody needs to be doing that right now. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. Yes, we will, because we only have two bottles. Time to ration supplies. What's left? We have four cans of soup, two bottles of water. That was probably a mistake. I should have grabbed more water. Uh, we're not giving anybody anything. It's day one. Nobody gets a thing. I've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake, and it turned out it was a lie. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad. We were definitely getting a cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. I never realized a cake would mean so much to people when you're in a bunker. Uh, it's starting to get a little shaggy. Uh, radiation is getting really, really loud all of a sudden. Uh, let's see what day two holds. Let's just leave all those questions to be for. Let's just leave all those questions to be for now. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Dolores is quite calm given the situation, and Ted is fine. Time to ration supplies. Still not rationing supplies. The contamination for our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. 
that is vigorous enough to withstand hazards of the wasteland. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Jimmy can do it. Jimmy can go to the wasteland. We should start prepping for. Should we start prepping for an expedition tomorrow? Yes. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first was picking the game we we're going to play. This took most of the day, and we still haven't made up our minds. I guess as long as you're keeping yourself busy, right? Right? Yeah. All right. We've played Truth or Dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common are, "Are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup?" We decided that's we decided that's enough games for now. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now, we should get him some water. Water is all Dolores wants. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Alright, so everybody gets water today. And there goes our water. Let's send Timmy outside. Let's send him with a suitcase. Uh, and maybe maybe the X. Yeah, that's all I'm sending with it. The X and. Mary Jane, she's fine, doesn't need anything. Timmy went outside the wasteland. We don't know what he do if he we don't know what to do if we blah, 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 let me start over. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. The equipment he took with him was the suitcase and an axe. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Thank you, Dolores, for your bland and not needed comment. Ted's not complaining, at least not very much. Time to ration supplies. I guess we'll feed everybody a little bit. Since Timmy's gone, we'll all eat without him. There's more nothing there is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? We investigated and risk our should we investigate it? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Yeah, sure, let's open the door. Well, what was behind the door? Turned out it was a nice mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. This will help us survive the next couple days, plus two soup cans. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane. Everything seems okay with Dolores. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. We're not rationing supplies. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. Much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Is it Timmy ever coming back? Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane's very thirsty and has to drink something. Dolores drink. Dead drinks. Okay. Everybody gets water. There's a little bit left for Timmy when he gets back. He better bring some water with him. We've been smelling something funny in the sewer ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something or someone started a fire. And it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Well, since that's the only thing we have, we save it. In question, all my stuff's right here in one little area. Why is that the only thing that was by the flames? Why would you put the the first aid kit down by the fire? I don't understand. Drugs. Get the drugs. That was our first thought. And we were able to secure the med kit before it was burnt to ashes. But the first but the fire grew quickly and damaged other supplies. We need to go through our stuff stuff and see what's Fine and what's not. 
It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane. I, they repeat these. Okay, so Dolores. Uh, nothing new with Dolores. Uh, Ted's fine. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting as far away as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escape part. Not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. I didn't bring the radio, people. You guys would have been grabbing something while all the, the siren was going off. We'd have had more stuff down here. Just saying. There's one thing we need to do. Just to use the radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or just strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. First option sounds a bit more sane. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is holding up the situation. Handling the situation. She looks fine. I'm just going to add words where I feel like it. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Dolores is fine. Uh, yep. Uh, everybody's good today. Confined spaces. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are not friendly. Or not a friendly environment. A very friendly environment and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things if this keeps on we might find ourselves in a nasty place don't need no like oh my god what happened to Timmy he's got like the measles or something oh all right let's find out we stopped arguing but for how long we we're so afraid for Timmy, but he came. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. He brought back an axe. That's good. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived the blast wave. One of them was a local bus station. It used to be a central hub for bums and vagabonds in the area, but now it just stands there empty. We decided it was worth checking out, hoping someone left a few cans of soup behind. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere behind the boondocks. The bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of, the, none of them were a match for us. So we just took all the water bottles. Plus two water bottles. Damn it. We really like that suitcase. Now it's gone. Thanks, Timmy, for losing our suitcase. Uh-oh. Water is not what Mary Jane needs most right now. Timmy should really eat something. Uh, he's tired. He isn't feeling very well. At least he's not dying. I mean, that's good. Water for Dolores. But Ted needs water. Dolores needs water. Tim needs to eat. Mary Jane needs food. Give him a little bit of both. Do that. Nope. Just, just water for you too. All right. Looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted is happy to risk his life in the waste. Well, we're going to send Ted tomorrow. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. We're about to step out. We heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared a few feet away. We only had moments to decide what to do. You shoot it. Alright guys, day 10 is a good place to stop. Uh, thank you for watching this first episode of 60 Seconds. I hope you join me for more. Uh, there will be more, for sure. Uh, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.